Hello, this is a video about uh, DM42 disguised as a C47, a feature which I find very remarkable on the C47 is its menu structure and the possibility to extend uh, the menu structure in accordance to your needs. And uh, you can, for example, create as many menus as you wish. And uh, you can link them together in any way you want. Or you don't do it at all and have every menu just existing for itself. But in this case, you would have to call it from the catalog. Okay, so first thing uh, I do for the video is that I reset my uh, configuration here. So what we see is a DM42 with the C47 software um, installed and configured. And uh, this menu here is one I have uh, built to my needs. So I first reset it into a state that you can uh, recognize uh, your C47 in a freshly installed uh, manner. So to do this reset, we press two times shift, which is called a G shift. And now we have access to the clear menu. You see here, uh, these, uh, <coughs> these uh, uh, texts here in frames, these are all menus. And what is written without a uh, frame these are functions which are called directly by a key press. Okay, now we are in the G shift state and I press the backspace button which gives us the clear menu. And uh, we have the reset function here. Um, to, to apply this, we press shift to get into the first level, or better, the second level. First level is here CF and the following. Next level is um, clear function all, or whatever that means. <laughs> and the third level is reset. And now we can press the F1 key here. We have to confirm this. And now we are in the vanilla state, as I would call it. What we see here is um, the My menu. This is called My menu. And there's another pre-configured menu, which is called Home. If you want to have a look at this, we press Shift twice, uh, G-Shift. G and uh, seven for home. And that's the home um, menu configured by one of the developers, Jaco Mostad, who is an electrician as far as I know, electrical engineer. And uh, he liked these functions here most for his work. Okay, but since I'm not an electrical engineer, I don't need this. So, um, first question could be, how can I make this menu my own? Well, this is quite easy. Let's say we have here the function 10 to the power of x, and we would like to change this against the logarithm function here, log function. Then we have to press assign which is reached by one shift click. So we have an F here. I hope you can see this. It's an F. And uh, then we need a sign. 
And now, first question, what is the thing which should be assigned to? And this is the log function. So we press log. We see this here. And what we also can see is that every item of the whole menu suddenly has got some kind of rivets, so these four dots around. And now the only thing we need to do is to press the F4 key to exchange 10 to the power of x to log. So let's do this. Now we have our new function here. Again, if you say, okay, this wasn't a good idea, I leave this as it is, we can do the same again. We press shift, assign, then shift for the 10 to the power of x function. And now we see a problem. The menu hasn't changed into the editable state. And I have experienced this problem before. So let's do a test. I quickly press this thing three times. Now we have the My menu activated, but this is not what we want. We want to change the home, di uh, the home menu, right? So again, three quick taps and we are here. And now we can see the menu is editable again and we can now change log against 10 to the power of uh, x. So I originally wanted to demonstrate the function but now I have seen that there is a bug in the system and uh, this is also quite nice so why not and uh, you have also seen a workaround right so couldn't get any better <laughs> Okay, so you have seen how we changed the home menu two times. Now let's take the my menu. The my menu can be reached by three quick taps on the shift button. And here we are. Now let's go back to the home menu to demonstrate another way to go to the My menu and this is pressing exit and hold it and you see here, attention, exit, My menu. At the moment My menu comes up, you get loose of the exit button and you are in the My menu. So let's apply log here as a function. So again assign log and you see this time it uh, immediately it worked yeah <laughs> okay so we can apply this here let's say we take drg and give this the log function next let's assume you want a menu of your own a brand new one then you do the following you, you uh, press shift, assign, and then user. So again, shift, user. And now you can enter a name for your brand new menu. Let's say bar, right? Bar. We are in caps mode, as you can see here. So every key we use here, the B will appear as a capital letter and the A and the R bar. Now enter. And now we have a menu called bar. But where is it? No problem at all. Shift and cat. Here we have the catalog. 
And here is a list of menus behind this soft key. So we press F6 to get this menu here. And uh, here is bar. This is alphabetically from bottom to the top. So we can use the arrow keys to wander line by line through all of these menus which are listed here. There are other menus which are um, scrolled through blockwise, so in steps of three rows at once. But this one goes line by line, row by row, so to say. So let's tap bar here. And now we see our empty uh, menu and we have to put some stuff into it, right? So for instance, um, for the sake of simplicity, I take the functions which are easy to, to enter here. We say again, shift, assign, take a function like the inverse here and assign this. You see the rivets are, the, are there. We assign it here. Another thing we can do is the following. We can go to our My menu. Now uh, this is home. Although I pressed thrice, but this is home. We take this command here. This is our home, uh, our My menu, right? And now we want, for example, to place a link to bar in this place. Then we have to do the following. We say assign again. But now we have to enter here the menu which we want to link to our My Menu. In order to get this entry into this place here, I press shift once to reach the catalog function, go into menus, press bar, and now I can assign bar to another button, or soft key in this case. Okay, but what we, what we have here is still the menu from the catalog, and we have to get rid of this. So we press exit, and now we see our My Menu and can position the link to the menu bar right here. And when we click now on bar, we get our bar menu, which has just one item, the uh, one divided by X, and that's it. Yeah, and you see, <coughs> Using these uh, functions, you can build a menu structure as complicated as you wish and as rich as you wish. And uh, I like this very much because you can customize your calculator really in 100%. Uh, okay, so. This was quite interesting because of this little bug we have seen. And uh, I hope that you get an idea of the menu system of the C47. And maybe you, you like to test it. If you like the C47 concept, you can order this bezel here, which I have attached to the calculator. It says C47 here. It looks very nice, fantastic job. And uh, I don't think I'll switch back to the DM42. Okay, so hope you find this a bit of interest. Have a nice day, bye bye.